What's up guys, Jake here. Today we're in Florida and we're down by the river and we're going scuba diving for river treasure. If this is your first time watching these videos, it's very simple. We're scuba diving in deep, scary waters where people tube, whitewater rafts, stand up paddleboard, and these are places where people often lose pretty incredible stuff like their newest iPhones, GoPros, Apple Watches, cool things like that. But the best part about this adventure is that we're picking up trash and we're giving all the lost valuables that I find to the owners completely for free. So it's just all for fun and a good adventure. We're on the boat right now, headed to the first spot and there are so many people on this river too. Dude, it is ridiculous. Like, look at that boat out there. That's a picnic table. That's not a boat. <laughs> but as we make our way down, there's thousands of people. It's ridiculous. That is a fancy camera right there. I like the dog. No. Woo. I was saying if those uh, guys at the picnic table, if the law enforcement comes by, FWC, they're getting tickets. <laughs> <laughs> You can't rig up a picnic table to be a boat in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this tube up here, the car. That is so cool. That's amazing. So many different tubes. It reeks of marijuana. <laughs> Before a party and out here. We're gonna find so much stuff, Chris. Oh my god, there's Tarzan up in a tree. We gotta watch this guy. You know what's pretty awesome about that? He probably has at least a six pack in his system and a couple blunts probably and he's able to climb up that tree and jump off. We're gonna find so much stuff. The water is so dark, no one wants to dive, but there's thousands of people on this river. We're gonna find, dude, we're gonna find so much stuff. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> hey, that's the guy! Hey, you're, you're hey. you too! Oh, you too! <laughs> There's so many people that know me here. It's just so cool. <laughs> Look at all the people down there. Oh my gosh. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Thank you. I love your YouTube videos, man. Thank you. Oh god. <laughs> Jordan. We lost one. That's why we find phones everywhere. Oh my god. He almost got hit by the propeller. Did you see that? He was like this close. This is ridiculous. We're going downstream to all the spots. There's thousands of people on tubes. People are flipping over. Chris is hitting logs. We almost fell off. <laughs> but it's so wild, man. There's so many people. We're going to find so much good stuff. Trying to cool it down no a little more. bit. No more, please. A little bit more, huh? No. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was incredible. Let me bite them guys. Let me bite them guys. Let me bite them here. You want a piece of me? Okay. I was gonna say something pretty funny. <laughs> I got my dog. <laughs> so, I've never noticed that big old tree out there. Look at that, Kendall. Have you ever noticed that? I don't know. It's a weird looking tree. So, um, please leave a like for River Treasure. If you don't leave a like for that, at least leave a like for my dog treasure. But <laughs> maybe she can get a bunch of likes. <laughs> All right, let's get out there and have some fun. Come on, Jay. <laughs> Yeah. So a girl named Mina just jumped off the rope swing and broke her ankle and her friend came up to us. We're going to help her out and get the assistance she needs. We're the only sober people here. So we're going to put her in a boat, go upstream and drop her off. Sit. Sit. So, 
Chris is uh, he's going upstream right now with the woman who broke her ankle and her friends. I'm gonna drop her off at the campsite. They're gonna probably call an ambulance. It definitely looks broken, but um, I, I didn't want to ride because there's just too many people. But good on him, man. That was really amazing that we're in the right spot at the right time, you know. And I hope that she recovers. But wait on Chris, and we're gonna get on the water and hopefully find some great stuff. It was too much. <laughs> Be careful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So these two girls don't know how to swim and they made it to the other side of the river and they lost their tube I believe but we're gonna put them on the boat take them across to the other side so they can walk to their camp. Super dangerous if you don't know how to swim and if you get lost in this water you're gone forever. Chris is a taxi today. We're not scuba divers today. We're taxi drivers. <laughs> lifesavers. I was just making a joke saying we're, we're not scuba divers, but we're taxi drivers. And then Kendall says we're lifesavers. And it, I mean, it's pretty gnarly, dude. If you're out here and you don't know how to swim, if you go under the water, the water's so dark, like it's going to take a professional to get down there and find you. Like even with me and my big light, you might be gone forever. So if you're out here and you think it's fun, just be very careful. Don't think you're stupid wearing a life jacket. I've got one on, so. You just never know. So far, we got a broken ankle, two people don't know how to swim. Hopefully, you know, nothing else happens so we can get in this water and find some more stuff. But it is a little scary, but just keep your eyes out and just try to be that better influence. So this is the PFD I use in all my adventures. If you're looking for a great PFD that's super minimal and versatile, this is the one I would recommend. It's great for all types of adventures, such as swimming, kayaking, fishing, and many more. Hive's Wingman PFD is super easy to use, and when you need help, pull this little tab right here, and it will inflate automatically, sending you straight to the surface. With that said, click the link in the description below to buy your very own Wingman Life Jacket. And if you do, please use my promo code. So many people, it is so scary though underwater. You're all alone in the darkness, but there are some good things to find if you're brave enough. I've lost Chris, I gotta find him, <laughs> and I'm gonna get back underwater and keep searching. <laughs> Chris actually found some Mountain Dew. These are all yep. full, right? Yep. <laughs> Three of them for us. Oh, and some sunglasses. The there you go. Provides. That's yeah, awesome. <laughs> so for that first dive, I got three Mountain Dews, a pair of sunglasses, these here with uh, no lenses at all, and these two e-cigarette things. That's it. That's it, Jake. Man. <laughs> you did a little bit better than me. I found some booby beads, a e-cigarette as well, a fishing lure, and a carabiner. I like your Mountain Dew. Uh, and there's three. There's three people in the boat too, hey, so we perfect. all get one. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no oh. I got good news and bad news. Good news, I found some things, but I don't have enough for everyone. Check it out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 
So I just got done diving this spot and we found a bunch of things. Let me recap real quick. So I got a bunch of sunglasses. Uh, one of them actually is broken. Uh, I think an earring and some more booby beads. I found two Smirnoff ice bottles. So I got iced underwater. <laughs> a cool tumbler, uh, a bracelet, an e-cigarette. And so far, these are my best finds of the day. I got three Apple watches all in the same spot. Two of them are series uh, sixes and one of them is a series three. And I'm sure they're all gonna work. But, dude, that's just freaking crazy. I can't believe I found three Apple Watches in one spot. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go to the new spot and get back down and hopefully find some more stuff. Gator water, come pick me up. <laughs> so, at what? Fourth. Fourth person today that needed help? Dude, that's crazy. She was struggling a little bit and I asked if she was all right and she said no. Jumped in immediately and grabbed her and helped her ashore. She was just getting tired. She got separated from her friends and started going down the creepy river and she wanted a little bit of extra help. But told her from there, she could walk anywhere. And uh, like I said, you guys, this place can be super fun, but if you're drinking and tubing and stuff, you can be very, very dangerous. So just keep your eyes out for everyone. You never know what could happen. So we just got done diving. We found a bunch of stuff today, but my favorite finds of the day are these three Apple Watches. Now, all of these Apple Watches actually turned back on and only one of them I'm actually able to give back to the owner because this one actually has a medical ID that has a cell phone number attached to it. And I'll be able to call that number and give that back to him. However, these ones are locked and there's no way for me to figure out who these belong to. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I got two Apple Watches that I'll hold on to just in case if I find the owners. But this one, we're gonna go ahead and call the people, get the reaction and hopefully give their Apple Watch back to them. After some research, we figured out who the Apple Watch belongs to. So I called a sibling and they sent me a guy named Alan's contact. So it belongs to a guy named Alan. He sent me his driver license to confirm this is actually indeed his Apple Watch, which is really cool. I didn't ask for that. And then he also sent some cool follow-up messages. I guess the sibling told him, you know, that I found their watch. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a call. I haven't called him yet and maybe we'll still get a good reaction, but he said some very nice things through text messages and uh, I'm pretty stoked on that so let's give him a call and surprise him hello it's Alan hey Alan this is Jake how you doing man good how are you bud I'm doing pretty good just got home awesome is this a good time yeah it's a good time it's a great time cool man awesome yeah I think I, uh, I might have found your Apple watch man <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know that's so crazy I wouldn't expect that <laughs> I can't believe you actually watch the videos too that's pretty unreal <laughs> yeah yeah I do I mean I've watched it for years that's amazing, man. So I guess what I'm going to need is an address and your first and last name, and I'll mail this out to you for free, man. Okay, awesome. Are you sure, are you, sure you don't want me to know something I can do to like send you something? Nah, man. Just just continue <laughs> watching the videos if you can. <laughs> awesome. You know I will. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Sorry you lost it. These Apple Watches, dude, they're, they're so easy to fall off. I think I've found probably 100 in my career of scuba diving for treasure. <laughs> so uh, I actually yeah, found man, three I'm today. You lost it, which is crazy. And these things are pretty expensive, and you're the only one I was able to give back to. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I really appreciate that, man. I really do. You're welcome, man. And uh, I'll go ahead and ship this out to you. I'll also put some insurance on it. So if it gets lost in the mail, at least you can claim it and get your money for it. But uh, I'll send out all that over here shortly. Uh, Jake, man, I really appreciate it, bro. Bless you, dude. You're welcome, man. Call me anytime. I will. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Being on a river can be a lot of fun, but it can also be very dangerous. So if you don't have a PFD and you're looking for one, like I said, this one is my go-to. It's super minimal, very lightweight. I don't even know I'm wearing it. And when you need help, all you do is you pull this little tab and it blows up instantly. So definitely check it out. Share it with a friend or two. It's great for kayaking, fishing, or just swimming in the water and enjoying your day. And uh, use my promo code. I'll have it all linked in the description below. Tell them Jake sent you. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next adventure. Oh,